welcome to Amateur Redneck Workshop. I'm Harold and today I'm going to solve a problem that I have left over from before. I guess maybe a year ago, two years ago, sometime in the past. I made a, a light for my Grizzly Mill it goes up under the head. It's on a bunch of LED strip, you know, and uh, put it under the head. And I cut it into pieces about nine inches long and stuck them all on there side by side and they had to be soldered at every end you know and that sort of thing and there ain't comes a problem so here the other day I ordered another long string of LEDs I think in a 6000k uh, light and I'm going to try a different approach to doing that same thing and what I'm going to do is I'll show you an example of what it is that I'm doing and you'll see why I'm doing it. So, as you can see, only half of them are lighting up. Some of them are coming unstuck. And the problem is, of course, because I don't have a good uh, solder joint on, on the darn thing. Not sure why this one's not working and stuff on either side are working because it's all in a series, but hey, there you are. Nevertheless, I'm going to strip all this off of that piece of metal and I'm going to take the new package I've got and I'm going to wind them around flat, all one piece. No cutting up, no soldering ends or anything like that. And I'm going to put a piece of plastic or a piece of glass over it to hold it good and steady. So you take a little breather here and I'll get the, uh, get the LEDs if I can find them. I laid them in here somewhere. Alright, so here we are. This is a good ride here. I'm going to use. Got an extra little pigtail in there in case you want to start two of them because there's already one on there. And I'm going to take this thing and I'm going to strip all the lights off of here and start all over. So while you guys take a little nap, I will strip the lights off of here. I used double sided tape before. And it still seems to be good, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to lay this on here, just like this. And then I'm going to clamp it down with this, just to make sure it doesn't try any nasty tricks with me. Yeah, let me see if I can get it on there. I'm not going to, hopefully I'm not going to clamp it down hard enough to, to break anything, just just going to clamp it down enough to keep the wire from coming loose. Yeah. I think that I am. That was the original idea. Alright, so, set that right there. I'm going to just come around the edges with this stuff. And I'm going to kind of bend it a little bit and hope that maybe maybe it'll conform to the shape without a lot of trouble I'm sure it doesn't want to turn the corners really well but I'm going to try to make it this stuff's got sticky on the bottom of it in case you want to stick it down it's got double sided tape itself and maybe I ought to use that maybe I ought to use that feature Thing I'm using there is not holding it down very good. These stickies all get out. Let's see if I can pull the little strip off. The last stuff I had, the self sticking stuff didn't feel too good to me. Like, you know, it didn't, didn't really feel all that sticky. But this could be better. You never know. I mean, we. We're going to tell ourselves it is, and then hope for success, or good luck, or something. But we'll have high hopes or whatever it does. Okay, now I'm going to keep on dragging this thing around the perimeter here, in the hopes that everything will work out. And 
I guess now that you can see what I'm doing, it's time to cut off the camera and bring you back when I've made more progress. I obviously haven't fastened them down with uh, something to cover them up yet. It, I heard that, Pierre. Yeah, it does look like a redneck's nightmare, but I bet it's going to work better than the last one. So there you are. Is that bright or is that bright? It's at least twice as bright as the old one. So now all I got to do is put a little fiber, uh, fiber just plexiglass over it, and it should not come loose any more than it is. So. Back to another nap. Shame on you, Pierre. Well, there we go. Like Pierre said, it looks like a redneck's nightmare. But every inch of that thing is lit up. There's no ends that are going to come unsoldered. And I think that right there is going to last a lot longer and better than the last one I put up there. I wish I had one of those angel eyes things, but I couldn't find one that fit my my uh, machine so anyway there you are that's a lot brighter in fact that may be a lot brighter than the original way and I've got plexiglass I cut plexiglass with my little Dremel tool with the abrasive wheel and I stuck it onto there and I think that's going to hold it pretty darn good I use those little metal clips that you clip paper with to hold the plexiglass on I went to the store the other day and I just needed about six of them, but you had to buy a dozen or two or something like that for the minimum quantity it was in the box. Alright folks, I guess we did that. We'll either do a little something else to round out this video or else we'll just go see a, what Bubba's doing. Well, that's all folks. Uh, you all try to subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Leave a comment if you got something to say. And above all, remember, keep on keeping on. Bye now.